I've made a video earlier on the channel explaining the awesomeness of super capacitors and how they can be used in our EVs to change the way we see energy storage solutions today in the form of batteries. But there are so many other applications of these super capacitors which are already in action or are going to be used in the very near future in a lot of tech fields, especially in the EV industry. So if you want to know more about this, watch till the end of the video. This is Pawan and I insist tech. Let's get started. Quick recap on how exactly the supercapacitor tech works and how can they be very useful when used in our EVs and also in other engineering fields. Supercapacitors are different from normal capacitors. When normal capacitors store static charges on their plates, while there is a dielectric in between separating these two plates, supercapacitors try to create a double layer of charge by introducing electrolytes between dielectric and the plates which gives them a higher energy density number than normal capacitors which can store more charge and also that gives them power density numbers higher than normal capacitors which can supply quick bursts of energy when needed. As the supercapacitors just simply can't hold enough energy per charge as our existing uh, lithium ion batteries do, so we haven't uh, yet completely replaced batteries with supercapacitors in electric vehicles because obviously we can't uh, compromise the range of the vehicle, right? So we have figured out a lot of other ways where we can use these supercapacitors at least partly or in completely different new ways. So let's go through them one by one then. So the first one, a very well known application where we use supercapacitors in charging our electric vehicles or also in uh, other devices here and there. Normal batteries usually have charging cycles up to 10,000 uh, cycles before the battery completely dies or at least partially dies. Supercapacitors can kill that number by a whopping 300,000 to 500,000 charging cycles, which is insane. But yeah, there is a catch. While lithium ion batteries can hold a single charge for a longer period of time, supercapacitors can't. So they do discharge quickly and they can't really hold a charge for a long time. So if electric vehicles do start using supercapacitors, you can expect them to charge really really fast while you take a quick pee break and can provide rapid acceleration due to its high power density numbers. Yes, it's going to discharge quicker, but at the same time the recharging time is cut off by a huge number and also you don't have to worry about the supercapacitor degrading because they have huge amounts of charging cycles which you don't even uh, get to complete in the lifetime of the vehicle. We might even see them being used in our smartphones soon where you don't have to worry about a battery replacement after say 3 years or something because these supercapacitors can keep your phone juiced up from 0 to 100 always in just like 5 to 6 minutes. As of this date we use high power supply chargers to get that charging time cut down because these chargers can directly communicate with the phone and send appropriate amounts of energy. But when supercapacitors come in, we might not have to spend a lot on these high capacity chargers. The next application can be found in hybrid vehicles. I think it's already being used. See, these hybrid vehicles can completely turn off when they come to a complete stop, say at a red light or a junction. But when it has to turn back on, these supercapacitors can supply that energy to the uh, motors instead of using other resources like the batteries or from the engine. Because of the quick rush of energy that these capacitors can supply efficiently, there will be no need of using other resources to turn back the motors on and get the uh, wheels running. This company, Maxwell Technologies, makes these supercapacitors to be used in hybrid cars and trucks for this application alone. These capacitors can be easily used in collaboration with batteries where the need of power is instant and high, like say if starting a car from halt. Think about it, in smaller vehicles like scooters and mopeds, we wouldn't need a lot of battery capacity in the first place because we can depend on supercapacitors to uh, deal with all the instant and high power density uh, work and preserve the overall battery health too. It is true that if the energy supplied by the battery is spread over a long period of time, at the constant rate, the battery will last longer. Explains why our smartphones take power saving uh, features so seriously in every aspect. Another amazing application of these supercapacitors is when it is used with solar panels. Yes, this has been around for quite a while now. Now, of course, we started out with lithium ion batteries to store uh, the solar energy. 
but these super capacitors can balance out the energy storage in the batteries by taking care of charging and discharging cycles. It can balance out uneven charging patterns in the battery cells and it can also charge them real quick so you don't have to worry that much about the sun not being out for a long time. In wind turbines, supercapacitors can be used to smooth out the intermittent power supplied. In simple words, you can say that this intermittent power is something like the disturbances which occur when power is supplied from the wind turbines due to external factors. CapXX or CapXX, I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but this company makes graphene thin supercapacitors and they come in all types of shapes and sizes, say prismatic or cell types, just like your normal battery shapes and sizes. Their supercapacitors are mainly being used in IoT systems to replace the energy need from batteries to supercapacitors, say IoT monitoring systems or wireless vehicle detection systems to power immediate sensors or even in variables like smartwatches or health bands etc etc all these applications if you think about it you don't really require a stable slow power supply like using super capacitors for these applications makes so much more sense i have mentioned a lot more applications of these cap xx made super capacitors in this particular video you can check it out if you're interested i'll leave a link uh, in the description below smaller super capacitors are being used as backup power systems for sram chips as these are very volatile memory chips these are usually powered with capacitors because in case if there's a power down, all the data is not lost and being backed up quickly. Supercapacitors are used in many more applications like short term energy storage systems for normal vehicles or even hybrid electric vehicles. These are also used in the regenerative braking systems. So these were some more applications of supercapacitors being used in current day and age, which I found. And if you have uh, any more information to tell me about any other applications of supercapacitors, you can let me uh, know in the comment section below. And if you ended up liking the whole video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, this is Pawan signing out.